what do you think about one of the, okay, listen, I'm not, I, for people listening, I do not have Trump derangement syndrome. I'm, I don't, I see, I try to look for the good and the bad in everybody. One thing, perhaps it's irrational, but perhaps because I've been reading history, I, the one triggering thing for me is the delaying of elections. I believe in elections and this is this is the part that you probably disagree with. But I, I you know, I believe in the value of people voting. And I just seen too many dictators the the place where they finally the big switch happens when you question the legitimacy of elections. Who's been questioning the legitimacy of elections for the last three years? I've only heard Donald Trump do it last like year, but the last three years you're saying somebody else? You don't think not my president illegitimate. We're not going to normalize him as president. Russia hacked this election. Impeached, you're not a real president. You don't think that's questioning legitimacy of 2016? Yeah, it's a good, uh, I, I haven't been paying attention enough, but I, I, would, I would imagine that argument has been, that I haven't actually heard too many people, but I imagine that's been a popular oh, very thing much to so, say. Yeah. Okay, I, but nevertheless, that's a part that didn't, uh, that's not a statement that gained power enough to say that um, Barack Obama will keep being president or Hillary Clinton should be president. Uh, Newsweek had that article, how Hillary Clinton could still be president. Newsweek. No, but she's not. That's what I'm saying. My worry isn't, my worry isn't uh, saying that the election was illegitimate and people whining at mass scale sure. and, and then uh, Fox News or CNN reporting for years or books being written for years. My worry is legitimately martial law, a person stays president. So here's the issue. Uh, like yeah. there's a there's a phase I, I shift you. that I, happens I'm not, I, 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 I did a book on North Korea. I'm yeah. not someone who thinks dictatorship should be taken lightly. I'm not someone who thinks it can't happen here. Uh, I, I think a lot of times people are desperate for dictatorship. So I am with you. And I think this is something, if you're going to hand wave it away, everyone else hand waved it away. Oh, Hitler's never going to be chancellor. He's a yeah. lunatic. Oh, He's please. a joke. He's yeah. a joke. They, he, they couldn't find a publisher for Mein Kampf in English because this is some guy from some random minor party in Germany spouting nonsense. Who's going to read this crap? You know, so I, I completely agree with you uh, in but that you regard. You don't think we're there. My the, point is here. Donald Trump this year had every... Uh, pathway open to him to declare martial law. The cities are being burnt down. He could have very easily sent in the tanks uh, and people would have been applauding him from You're his side. You feel so good right now. But am I wrong though? No, and I, he, I- And what he did, he tweeted out to Mayor Wheeler of, of Portland. He said, call me, we will, we will solve this in minutes, but you have to call. And he sat in his hands and they said, oh, it's his fault. The city is burning down. He's not doing anything. And he goes, I'm not doing anything until you ask me to do it. So I think that is, even if you think he's an aspiring dictator, that is at least a sign that there is some restraint on his aspirations. Can I just take that in as a beautiful um, like moment of hope? So I'm 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 as gonna remember this moment. Ted Cruz. Beautiful Ted. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that. I mean, uh, I I should say that perhaps I'm irrationally this is the one moment where I feel myself being a little I th I don't think unhealthy. you're being irrational. I think there's a asymmetry because it's kind of like okay, either I if I leave the house, it's like Russian roulette. Yeah, maybe it's like a one in six shot I'm pulling the trigger, I'm killing myself, but that's one in six. That's not and and the consequences are so dire that a little paranoia would go a long way. There's something that you can't go back. Yeah. You, you can, it's an asymmetry, yeah. And the the thing is, the, the thing that makes Donald Trump new to me, and again, I'm a little naive in these things, but he surprised me in how many ways he just didn't play by the rules. Yeah. And he's made me, a little ant in this ant colony, think like, well, do you have to play by the rules at all? Right. Like, wh why are we having elections? Why just say, like, it's coronavirus time. Like, it's it's uh, not healthy to have elections. Like, we shouldn't be, like, I could, if I put my dictator hat Nancy on. Nancy Pelosi said that Joe Biden shouldn't debate. 
Yeah. Uh, did she? Yes. She says she shouldn't dignify Trump with a debate. He's the president. He could be the worst president on earth, evil, despicable monster. I'll, I'll take that but as an argument. So she's playing politics, but she's- I don't okay. think that's playing politics. I think when you, there's a certain point where things get, and uh, when things get, uh, when you start attacking institutions for the, the emergencies of the moment and acting arbitrarily, that is when things are the slippery slope. Yeah, so you're saying debates is one of the institutions, like that's one of the traditions to have the debates. And... I think the debates are extremely important. Uh, now, I don't think that someone's a good debater is gonna make a good president. I mean, right. that's that's a big problem. But you're just saying this is attacking just yet another uh, tradition, yet another. You know like how if you're dating, if you're married to someone and someone throws out the word divorce, you can't unring that bell, you threw it out there. Yeah. I'm saying you don't throw things out like that unless you really are ready to go down this road. And I think that is, it, there's nothing in the constitution about debates. We've only had them since 1980. But still, I think they are extremely important. It's also a great chance for Joe Biden to tell him to his face, you're full of crap. Here's what you did, here's what you did, here's what you did. So fascinating that you're both, you acknowledge that, and yet you also see the value of tearing down the entire thing. So you're both worried about no debates, or at least in your voice, in your tone. There's a great quote by Chesterton. Uh, I'm not a fan of him at all. But he says, before you tear down a fence, make sure you know why they put it up first. So I am for te tearing it all down, but there's something called like a controlled demolition, like building seven. Um, or there's- Allegedly. <laughs> 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 we knew we were in Tel Aviv. Um, and- Hashtag building seven. <laughs> we knew we were in Tel Aviv. Wow, you're faster than me. You're, you're operating in a different level. I need to upgrade my operating system. <laughs> I, I told you Windows 95, <laughs> you're trying to, yeah. Um, uh, bu but the building thing is, seven. If you're gonna, uh, it's like Indiana Jones, right? If you're gonna tear, pull something away, make sure you have something in place first, as opposed to just breaking it. And then just, especially in politics, it, cause it, it escalates. And when things escalate without any kind of a response, it, it can go in a very bad, that's when Napoleon comes in. 